<laughs> you guys are going to laugh at me, man. So, I got this little weed whacker running like a top. It just had a vacuum leak on the primer bulb. And I tightened up the carburetor as well. And then this happened. Just a minute. It's not turning the engine over. Oh, it's got a broken who's it? There you go, right there, guys. All three of the little cogs on the reed on that are gone. Right there. See, it's broken there, it's broken there, and a long time ago it broke there and broke there. So they're all four of them are gone. Gosh. <laughs> How far do you go? I think I'm going to chuck it. But I'm going to take all the good stuff off of it. Like the coil. You watch it. Should be. Come on now. Pay attention. So I'm just taking off screws with a with reckless abandon here, eh? Uh, three quarter inch spark plug. It's definitely a good spark plug. Oh. Oh, we need a bigger stick. Oh, holy moly. Who put that on there? Oh, I did. But I got a trick. I only use my old, old, old ratchet. Uh, old, old Chinese ratchet wrench for this. years that's been off before that's been off you know what oh look at that that tells me that that this probably has been years since that came off of there and it's clean so yay okay a couple of more bolts to remove and we're going in the garbage Air filter, carburetor, how much do you keep, eh? Definitely keeping that, and I might keep that, and that. the rest of this Hoo-ha! Oh, oh, that's this coil's a keeper. That's garbage. I don't even think. Yeah, I think it's all garbage. Except for the gas cap. I've never thrown out a gas cap. Oh, you know what? Let's get that. Uh, that's a brand new air hose in there too. don't need the gas tank but in 36 minutes after I throw all this stuff away I will I don't even need the fasteners anymore you know but we'll just set them up here for now I got a little pile of places oh, there there's a there's little engine look at that so that my friends is the intake manifold there's, the gas comes in here from the carburetor, if you can believe that, right? It's just like that, through an intake manifold. The gas goes into that hole. This is a two-stroke, remember? And then it comes down to the bottom. The gas goes up the side of the piston through a port, gets compressed, and pulsed down. Pulse coming down provides pressure for the next one to go up. So it's already, each time it's getting the next one ready. 
Isn't that a beautiful thing? Sort of. Good. Oh, garbage. Yes, I have to stop keeping. Oh, there's what happened. I gotta stop keeping everything that wiggles. I'm gonna have too much stuff around here. So there, not much left. Carburetor, coil, air cleaner, no. I don't think I need the air cleaner. So carburetor and coil. That's it. Oh, and a gas cap. Thanks for watching this one, I think. Okay, my friends. This is a dust, a dust blocker bag. And my customer that bought this from me says that all it does is blow dust on them. Which is an oxymoron, right? So we're going to take you outside. It's raining cats and dogs right now. But I'm going to actually just try and clear this of most of the dust that's embedded into this... Uh, what is that? A canvas? I don't know. So, just I'll just start. So we'll turn on the air compression. And we're going to open the big door, even though it's raining cats and dogs. And I'll take you to the back door. Okay, I'm almost finished. This you can see my scratches on here from the uh, air gun. This is my other air gun, by the way. It works okay. It's not as good, though. This is what I'm doing. I'm getting a lot less dust out of it now. But it was dusty. So there you go. The dust block, the dust blocker that doesn't block dust. Thanks for watching.